today we're going to talk about our Eradicator Plus solids handling technology. But I want to first start talk about our pump product. So in 1960, Gorman Rupp introduced the T-Series pump, primarily for handling municipal waste. It was designed to pass a full three inch solid through in its four through 10 inch models. And over the years, we've made some improvements, mostly for our customers for maintenance. In 1999, we improved it and introduced the Super T-Series with 22 new maintenance features. And in 2015, we launched our Eradicator solids handling system, which was mainly for to combat the new sewage that we're seeing in force mains today. So that's those things like municipal wipes and stringy material. And that solids handling technology really is what the customers are asking for today. In addition to that, we've introduced uh, some proprietary software system called FlowSmart which is a reverse operation should our pump actually see some clogging. Our real focus today is to talk about our Eradicator Plus solids handling technology, which we introduced this year in June. So it's a more aggressive wear plate with a continuous vein impeller. It's hardened material to handle those more aggressive organic solids that we're seeing in the municipal sewage today. Behind me, I have our Eradicator Plus demonstration here and this equipment is actually at, uh, showcasing a couple of products for us uh, one being the Radicator Plus and the and the aggressive solids handling product uh, in the T-Series and then also the FlowSmart technology which is is a, a proprietary programming uh, that's actually sensing that material inside of the pump uh, and and reversing the operation to loosen the material and allow it to pass so on the screen here, what you see is a simulated wet well level. Right now it's down at two feet. Um, we have some, some controls here to, to simulate a wet well level. Uh, we've also got another screen that, that I'm gonna navigate to, to to show you what we're looking for uh, within the pump to sense that clog. Um, so let me start the pump operation first. We'll start it up. The wet well level is increasing right now uh, when we hit four feet, we're going to actually call the pump to run. This screen has that simulated level. Uh, we've hit four feet, so it's going to call the pump to run. On this screen, you can see we're, we're monitoring a few values. We have a, a baseline that we've set at startup, which is a clean pump, a clean system. We know there's no material hung up in there. Uh, that's the blue line that you see on the screen. Uh, the white line is this pump cycle. So we're, we're monitoring this pump cycle against the original baseline that we set at startup. And then we have two lines. The red lines are a limit percentage, which is a value outside of the baseline that we want to make sure that our pump doesn't exceed that actually it, uh, simulates a clog. So if, if we Watch the, the white value. I've got Jonathan Dierks, our customer support manager behind me. He's gonna feed some material in here and we're gonna watch the white line to see how far we get outside of that, that limit percentage that we set. So you see the white line exceeded the value that we set. The clog has been detected. And Notice we didn't stop the pump cycle. We don't want to interrupt the pump cycle. We want to allow it to pump all the way down to the off level before we have to reverse the, the, the pump to clear the clog. So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to set the wet well on its way down. So the pump, pump is pumping down the wet well. We're pacing the wet well too and varying the speed of that VFD in there to allow longer pump cycles and more efficiency. It's hit, hit two feet, which is our off level. So at this point, the pump is going to reverse, loosening up some of that material. And then after a, a field adjustable set point of, of some seconds or minutes or however long you want to run it in reverse, we're going to return to a forward cycle and then we're going to monitor the same condition to see if that base, we return back to that baseline that we set at startup. Notice we don't reverse at full speed. Uh, we want to reverse at a slower speed. It's actually more effective at loosening some of that material at a slower speed. Um, it's also a safety issue. We want to make sure that we keep everybody safe when we're reversing it. When this pump revert, returned to 
the forward operation, you see the white line return back within that limit percentage, and we've cleaned the clog. So the FlowSmart technology is all part of our Integrinex advanced equipment, uh, PLC, VFD, all, all of that monitoring the condition within the pump. We offer this package uh, complete with pumps, pipes, valves, fittings, controls, uh, enclosures. The ReliaSource product that we put out it carries a five-year warranty, 100% warranty. In summary, the technology we're showing today from our pumps and our controls that Chad just demonstrated, they're all part of our ReliaSource lift stations, which are 100% designed and manufactured by Gorman Rupp from the pumps the piping, the valves, the control systems, and the enclosures if you need it. We've been manufacturing lift stations since 1967, and we're including all of this new technology today for our municipal customers within those ReliaSource lift stations, all backed by a 60-month warranty.